Several West New York residents voiced their utter disdain for the town zoning board of adjustment at Wednesday evening's board of commissioners meeting. Criticism ranged from the process in which members were appointed to the board, whose members were accused of being either incapable and or unwilling of independent thinking, to developers bribing officials in order to get projects approved. Early on, West New York Mayor Felix Roque explained that it is extremely difficult to get competent, caring residents to dedicate their time to a volunteer board. However, the explanation did seem to hold water with residents who live near the proposed Meridia project, which could be erected near the intersection of 67th Street and Boulevard East. I don't know who, uh, uh, how these members get on the board. Maybe you could clarify that to me. Uh, what we do is we have a selection process. First, it's hard to get people on the board. I, I know people who have applied and have had no response from you. Okay, I, well, maybe you want to make a few of those names. I because we have, uh, we constantly keep replenishing you. What, what we're seeing is the fact that they're not getting paid. A lot of times they just don't show up. So we try to get as much qualified uh, personnel. And it's There easy. is the word. Because... I don't know, maybe someone can tell me how many months we were sat here and when it was. 13 months we were here and at the conclusion, and it was somewhat technical, uh, I, I still am, don't un quite understand the garbage and the driveway and this and that, but not one, not one of your people that you were on that board ask a question. I don't know whether they couldn't read. I don't know whether they didn't understand like I didn't understand some of the issues. But to not ask one question and then just vote it in was absolutely an insult to any of us who sat here for 13 years. Okay. I've been trying to do things as a regular citizen, not making any backdoor deals, I'm not paying on everybody, I'm waiting my turn, I'm waiting online like a regular person. And I'm convinced that a regular person can't win in West New York. A regular person can say the right thing. I don't want to property, ten thousand another, add that together plus eighteen thousand plus another twenty-five thousand. All of, I couldn't put my kid through college. They're 10 and 11 years old. They could already been set. But no, I try to believe in the American dream that you should go home, that you should be successful, and invest back in your community. But the message that has been relayed to me is stop dreaming, pick another town. You can't win in West New York. And the little guy can't win. I'm the little guy. I'm putting all my little penis together, trying to be somebody, and you can't be somebody here, at least not not the legal way. That's what it seems to me. It seems to me that if you wait on, if you wait on mine, you be quiet, you don't make noise, uh, if you don't piss anybody off, everybody's going to take care of you. And it's not true at all. I'm a witness of this. My money's a witness of this. Our checkbook is a witness of this, that you can put all your money, but it seems to me I'm writing the check to the wrong person. And what has become standard procedure, Commissioner Cal Wiley, a 2015 mayoral challenger for Roque, harshly criticized his top political adversary on the subject, claiming Roque had a hand in facilitating much of the development in town. Okay. Okay. Nobody wants to hear this. May I speak to you, Mr. Sanchez? No, talk. No, no, I speak to you. Or no, I... I... Okay. Are you finished? This is a guy that has a okay. heart. <laughs> he cares. He's here. And it's sad that you're doing this to, to this gentleman. And it ain't only here. Every comment I've ever got on any, any builder that came to West York, the politics are too dirty. We refuse to come in here. And I notice it's the same four to five guys that are building in West New York over and over and over. Be the you cow. explain that to me. The same guys that come to your Christmas party, came to the housing party, I seen them all come in a bunch just to meet you. Now, one thing I want to tell you before you say something, Mr. Wiley, is that the, the zoning board is taking matters into their own hands. There are variances that they are giving wide approvals to that are crazy. We fought a project and got it thrown out, unanimous decision. It came back with higher densities, higher far values, more two driveways instead of one, and it got approved with one person who was against it. Uh -huh. It's the same project. And they kept, every time we brought up what happened the last time, what we argued with, 
that's a different project. That's a different project. It's wrong. It's the same project. It's the same property. It's the same developer. It's the same owner. And I was told, before we even walked into the first meeting, that's a done deal. Don't even waste your breath. That's a done deal. My, my lawyer tells me that that's just a rubber stamp committee over there. Anything that comes through, they rubber stamp it. <laughs> Town spokesman Paula Fonseca explained that all board vacancies are posted on the official town website where candidates typically then meet commissioners and an interview process takes place. He also stressed the appointments aren't done by Roque himself, that all appointments are pending a vote by the board of commissioners. This is a volunteer position that could get very hostile, so we appreciate all the people who come in and give their time to the town. I completely disagree that anyone is taking money or doing anything improper, when it comes to development in West New York, Fonseca said. The Board of Commissioners do not tell the zoning board how to vote. They're an independent governing body, he also clarified, later stating responsible development is ideal for a town of the size and location of West New York. I'm John Hydus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.